Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel and uh, one of the things that is uh, interesting when you get a new laptop is of course all the uh, capabilities that it has but one of the biggest problems is also all the crapware that could be installed in it and that's why I actually did a clean install because I wanted to remove everything and start from scratch because all new laptops have all sorts of offers and software I was offered you know um, Norton antivirus which had a trial version pre-installed I was offered um, all sorts of software that Acer wants to put on this thing the problem with all of that is that it can slow down your PC and it's not a good idea and I really really didn't like it like that and I typically don't like any company that adds crapware the thing is, is your PC's price is dependent on that crapware because companies that put their own stuff on it will pay the comp the you know the manufacturer for adding that software to your PC because there's a good chance that you might actually use it and pay for it. But at the same time, it creates tons of crapware. So this is kind of a quick video of what do you do when you got a new PC? Well, my recommendation, first of all, is scrap everything and reinstall from scratch. Use a image of Windows 10 that you can download easily from the internet. Um, Microsoft now gives images of Windows 10. Put it on a USB thumb drive or on a, uh, uh, a DVD and do a clean install if you can. That's the first thing that is the best. You have to make sure you got the same version that was on your computer first uh, because all computers now have a key they're digitally um, you know uh, protected with that Windows key that's if you have the capability to do it maybe you're kind of thinking well no I'm not sure I want to do that because I'm kind of scared and you know well second option is okay you don't want to clean install at least go through the list of software and delete what you know you won't need so you can go of course to control panel you go into the search in the um, taskbar and type control you'll see control panel show up you'll either be um, uh, most of the time you're in categories when you actually have a new computer you can go to programs and click uninstall a program if you're in uh, icons well you just go to programs and features that is available here you'll see a list of everything that is installed on your PC. My recommendation, any antivirus that there's a trial version, uninstall that. You don't need any of that. Windows Defender and Windows 10 is perfect and you don't need to have any other third-party antivirus. The other thing you should look at is any type of software that you don't need that was actually installed on you. There's a lot of stuff that might be there. So here, for example, in my machine, there was a lot of, uh, there were many uh, Acer type software that were, uh, you know, configuration of this or that, or, um, you know, there's one that was for the recovery of the machine. You know, I get it, but at the same time, uh, these software are often kind of a little bloated and, you know, one was checking updates. I can, you know, Windows can check its own updates. You don't need to have those updates from within the company's update software itself that's always something that's kind of crappy and every time I had uh, a lot of times that I had some problems when I would go to a, you know a client to fix their computers and they would have issues a lot of times was that crappy update thing that the company wanted you to have that updates by itself and finishes by giving error messages and all sorts of problems and you uninstall all of that and suddenly everything comes back to normal. So go through the list, but don't uninstall things you don't know because you might uninstall. So you might think, how do I know what I can uninstall or not? Well, you know what? Use Google and look at what each software is all about. The things that you don't know in there. You might see games. Uninstall the games if you don't want to have the games. Uh, look at every software, what it does, and you can most of the time kind of tell yourself oh I don't need that oh this is useless and go through the list it's very important to check it out because you'll be able to actually make your computer run faster 
Another thing you might want to do is right click in your taskbar and go into the task manager. Here you'll see something called startup. Click startup and look at what is starting up with your PC. Here there are things you might want to remove. For example, Spotify. I don't want that. You can remove that. Uh, Waves Max Audio Service. I have it installed because it it's part of my machine but what you could do is click disable it restart the PC see if it changes anything if you have no more sound or if things change what you could do then is simply uh, you know go back in here and re-enable whatever you disabled and just look at you know what you have here and disable everything for example the Logitech download assistant I don't need um, so disable everything one by one. Don't go, you know, and disable tons of things together because if something goes wrong, you won't really know what made it go wrong. But if you uninstall it one by one, you will and should be uh, okay because you'll be able to uninstall whatever uh, was there you didn't want. So go through your PC. It's important because there's a lot of crapware that is, is installed and that doesn't help and often makes your PC slower and when you clean it up actually you might see that your PC even if you think it's already fast might be even faster than it was before I saw a difference when I uninstalled uh, the software uh, just uninstalling Norton antivirus I saw a difference but doing a clean install is even better and if you do need some of the software that came with your PC you can always go back to the manufacturer so if I would want to because I don't I don't want to but if I wanted to um, use the factory recovery in this PC I could always go to acer.com search for my model number reinstall the uh, software that had the recovery option in it and then recover it would work so, you know, you don't lose everything. You can go back to the manufacturer and reinstall whatever you want if you have uninstalled it by accident. So, you know, it's not that big of a problem. And no, you're not going to break your computer, even if it's brand new. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.